Hello, Professor Bright here. Welcome back to the Sunless Sea. Um, we've just equipped our torpedo that we bought, you know, last episode. <laughs> um, and our plan is really just to go to Polythrim real quick, see what's going on over there, then head over to Port Cecil, drop off our checkered sort there, and then onward to the Connate. And after that, more exploration, see what's around there. I'm actually feeling pretty good about this. We've got five supplies still, eight fuel. Uh, we started with, I think it was 14 fuel and uh, probably more supplies, seven, eight, seven or eight supplies, um, depending on if you count the jellyfish. I do, because why not? Oh, hey, an abyss we didn't know about before. Good to note. Always like a little extra fragments. Helps get us more secrets. I'm also a little bit concerned about something I didn't notice before. Um, we are missing six crew members. Because, of course, the... No, no, no. Don't, no. Get out of that. Um, because, of course, the old Legea-class uh, steamer only has a capacity for 10. Whereas we now have a capacity for 15. Um, I might end up Hmm. I'm debating if we should just grab this. You know what? Yeah, let's grab some clay men here. That'll take up three of the spots, yes, but it'll also mean more engine power. And possibly some other effect. We'll find out in a moment. And, hi, Polythreme, how you doing? Here is screaming. Enjoy, right? Heh <laughs> heh. Huh. Well, gather our intelligence. What news from Polythrem? Ah, yes, the king with a hundred hearts. Delightful. Um, if we had a watchful curio, we might be able to get an audience with him. Currently we do not, so we cannot. We will purchase- We are clay! We will work. We will only work. Yep buying that because i mean how could i not let's be honest here and put them in our little auxiliary slot gives us more irons along with engine power and just takes up three quarters which i mean we're not using anyway and i'm happy to note we have 20 cargo space which means we can carry clay men to london are they passengers or cargo they're certainly the easiest passengers imaginable unless just unless one turns out to be an unfinished man now we have six places for him. They troop aboard. Each one lies down in its appointed position next to the other, nested it snugly, head by foot. We are for London, one explains to you. Good for you guys. Hmm. I mean, we do have plenty of echoes to throw around, and I am curious what shore leave at Polythreem looks like. So, sure, drink beer that wails from cups that sob. If you like that sort of thing. Not worth it. Under other circumstances, your crew might have been happier. Literally any other circumstances, probably. But, enough of that. Let's head easterly. Get to Port Cecil. Ooh, maybe we'll play some chess there. Maybe. Maybe not. Depends. All depends on what mood I'm in. Oh, brain islands. Oh, that discordant music. That only comes from Port Cecil. I do not miss it. I really don't. I'd be just as happy without it. Oh, hey, the aphotic quills. So, anti light quills? Um, I can't help but notice that buzzing. Is that you, friend? Huh. Oh, you want to have fun with us? Well, unfortunately, I'm just not interested, friend. Ah. Calling stars. Look out, shouts far above the false stars in the cavern's roof are shifting. 
A rare and ominous event. What now? Um... Record the change in assign a name. I always like to take the risk. And, uh, one terror. Big deal. The Alarming Pig. Okay. Pigs, one Zaylor size. It's always pigs. What's wrong with pigs? Bosun shakes his solemn head. Never ask about pigs at Z, he insists. I... I mean, where do you go for that? I, I don't... I don't understand. You know what? If you're going to be so persistent, I have torpedoes now. I think we can just take you out. Come on. Come at me. Yeah. And that's the cannon. There's the torpedo. Boom. Yeah. Not so tough now, are we? Get back here. That's actually probably better used on ships instead of on Z creatures. Now at this point, that'd be just silly to waste a torpedo. And good. Examine its cage armature one more time. Excellent, a success. The cage has begun to distort its shape. More than seems reasonable, but then a shark has no bones. Rods of iron inserted deep into its flesh have done impossible things. There are organs in there none of you recognize. Its suffering must have been extraordinary. You take a tooth as a trophy. If your hull is damaged, your engineer will repurpose some of its cage as repair materials. Well. So. Oh, hey, can I, can I, can I have that? Can I, can I have that ship? The Wreck of the Emperor Wolfgang? Can I have it? No? Okay. Um, Port Cecil? Oh. Wait. Oh, we went too far. Whoops. Well. Gonna have to go up here. Brock's Reef. Hmm. Getting a little bit lower on fuel and supplies. Hmm. I was hoping this trip would cost us less. But, oh well, no matter. And... Oh, the music's gone. Just noticed now. A belt of smoke goes up from the funnel. I hope it means the funnel on my ship. Port Cecil, a sourceless silver glow. A haven for players of games. Ah, uh, yes. We'll drop off our checkered character. He waits eagerly by the rail. He lifts his head to inhale. I can already smell the chess, he announces. Uh -huh. Thank you? Farewell? He says neither of these things. He drops a sweaty bundle of banknotes in your hand and hairs off up the hill. Fingers twitching to begin a game. Game players, eh? Hmm. Well, let's gather our intelligence. Uh, yes. And, though it is a tough challenge... Hmm. Well, first, explore the coral knoll around Port Cecil. Sea laps dark around silvery coral. Humps and columns rise from the coral. A bewildering maze. Go carefully. Raggedy fellow. Um, the raggedy man. Huh. Citizen, I'm a good Z-man. I'm yours if you'll have me. Will you have me? I'm hungry. I'll work hard. He seems likely enough, if a little ragged and sorrowful. Take him with us. Could always use more. Oh, this is just immediately an event. This is the Zaylor who came begging to you for a berth. He's done good work, this one, but he's keeping a little shrine to salt. The nameless god of the horizon at the back of the hold. Forbidden. Not all the crew are pleased, but most understand. Salt has no place on my ship. Now. I think it's time for chess. Chess is popular in the principles. The port is full of exiles, drunks, and washed-up Z traders. They all play, often obsessively. Be careful, the chess pieces are carved from skintelec. Here in the principles, that can be very dangerous. Ah, looks like we failed. A distraction. 
You don't often look at the chess pieces, not really look. The bishops with their hooks, the knight with its mane and teeth, the kin and the cream, white mingled with red, the roots that pin the corner of the board down to keep you safe from your opponent. Okay, you lift a paw to toy with it, touch its velvety pads. Checkmate, your opponent says, she grins. Looked too closely, did we? Need to be careful with Skintalak chess sets. Her face is blank and white as the dome of a chess pawn. Get out. Get back to the ship until the waking dream of the coral clears. Um, I have several questions there. Was she a cat? I... Um... The kin and the cream white mingled with red. I don't... Let's see if I can spend secrets to get a few more pages. Um... How about you? Veils, useless to me. You, mirrors, useless to me. Your irons, I remember that much. Hearts, again, useless to me. Um, uh, pages, are you hearts? Pages, perfect. No higher than 50, but that's okay, because our pages are only 32. So we'll spend our eight secrets to boost up our pages. And let's go back. Still a tough challenge, but we have a 40% chance of success. Excellent. A disciplined success. Odd thoughts bubble up each time you touch a chess piece. This one longs for home. That one has a secret desire for revenge against the slayer of its rank mate. This will be a queen one day. Those would do better as metal. You taste the metal. You ignore these thoughts and move methodically to a victory over your opponent. He blinks. Checkmate? He asks helplessly. Can't help but notice that he became a male when I won, but a female when I lost. So, hmm. Well. How oh, do we risk it? Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm, you can't see me reaching between the X and the little go button, but mm, I think we'd give it a shot. Why not? Ah, oh, well, didn't work this time, so I think we'll leave. Don't want to get all our terror spent on Port Cecil, after all. Although, wonderful. I've been thinking we could use more supplies and fuel. Pity we're using so much, but... Well, I want to be out here for a while. At least a while from my perspective. So we're headed north to the Khanate, and I suspect that north of the Khanate, or east of the Khanate, somewhere relative to the Khanate, we will find the Shellinate. But our primary goal, of course, is establishing our intelligence network in the Khanate. Because I want to see what that does. I do like the whole idea of spies and intrigue. I like it. It's an idea that appeals. Hmm. Okay, I really wish I knew what an ayat was. I assume it's like a small island, maybe? Not sure. Oh, there's Khan's Shadow, and there's the music. Ah, uh, well, we'll stop at Khan's Shadow first. It is right here, after all. So... Oh, I think I could use my... No, this one wants the Element of the Dawn Machine. I was going to say, I think I can use my uh, Searing Enigma to get a Doomed Monster Hunter, but I cannot. Oh, well. The Dawn Machine. Yes, it's its own faction, apparently. Hmm. I am curious who the Dawn Machine belongs to, or who it's working for. But that's a mystery for another time. One of the many things we have to do in the southern half of the Z. But right now we're northerly, so... The Khanate it is. Hmm. Agadai's Bridge. We'll be passing through there. And then I think a quick trip over to, uh... Where the leader is. Where the Khan is. 
Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Might have to... Well, we should be fine for Hall. I made it much farther with less. Of course, I wasn't dealing with Z-Monsters as much. Well, worry about that later. Khan's Heart. Um, are we already seeking a commercial license? I have to assume we are. Yes, it's over Khan's Glory. Um, well... It's chancy. It's always worrisome. Um, establish a spy in Khan's Heart. If you're caught, it'll mean trouble. If you're successful, you can tap your network later for intelligence. The Dark Spectacled Admiral and the Voracious Diplomat, among others, will be interested. Ooh, a hundred echoes. Ooh, this is really risky. Go with it. Ah, wait, yes! Ha! Perfect. I saw Lost and I assumed that something went wrong. Okay. Perfect. Your agent sends a message via bat courier. They have found lodgings, contacts, possibilities. So on subsequent visits to Khan's heart, we'll be able to grow our network, or tap it for information. The more it grows, the more effective it is. Okay, makes sense. Um, I wonder if we can do anything with it now. Oh, find out what your spies need. To improve the quality of your network, you'll need something. Find out what. The network needs something. Okay, what do you need? Seven visions of the surface. Ooh, that ain't happening. Uh, 50 echoes, though. That could be done. Your network needs something to prosper. What is it? If you provide this successfully, your network level may increase. May increase. Hmm. Odd. Spies have an extraordinary appetite for funds, though. Bribes, hush money, peculiar equipment. And... Okay. An accounting. A long and sometimes confusing list of what they need it for. It's plausible, at least. And we now have cautious contacts in Khan's heart. Uh, I wonder if the alliteration was intentional. Um, we'll gather our port... Well, no, we can see if they need anything else. They need another diplomatic agent. Oh. Hmm. Well. Hmm. I guess we'll gather our port report, or try to gather our port report. Success. And, oh. 50 echoes. Mm. This is starting to bleed out my surplus. I think it's best we leave here, go to Khan's glory, while we can. And then see where we go from there. Not sure yet. I'm going to send out the bat a few times, because if you look at the map, there's quite a bit of space. And Frostfound, admittedly, but we're going to ignore Frostfound for now. Well, for the most part, we might stop there and get a port report. But we have no reason to go in there just yet. We don't have enough stats to actually get our little color. Get part of the Neath bow from there. But uh, we can't right now. Actually, let's hide these guys again. So you get a better view of the Neath. And docked. Khan's glory. Hi, Leopard Clan. Oh, wow. Good thing that you guys need five. Well, offer our gift to the Leopard. The royal clan of the Khan. The Khan himself has a notorious weakness for coffee, and his court follows suit. And much the same as before, you meet with an effusive official in a room of blue glass and pierced porcelain. You supply the customary compliments and courtesies, while he nods complacently. Finally, you present a sample of the coffee. The official comes suddenly awake, inhales the scent of the coffee, glances regretfully at the porcelain screen behind him, a watcher. He bows to you three times and sends you on your way. So, oh no, we need 15 more. Oh my. So 15 times 50. That is 750 echoes to get access to these guys. Okay. I mean, it's... I don't even know what they sell here. So I don't know if that's a good deal or not. It might be. It could be. Has the potential to be a good deal, but I don't know. Hmm... 
Bright is a long way to the northeast. Well, you know what? Hmm. You're just going to go on about Bright, aren't you? And I mean, we're right here. We might as well... Very quickly... Stop here. Deal with these restless nights first. So about these dreams of yours. Hmm. Well. Ah, oh, see, this is really unfortunate. I don't know how I'm going to get to enter Frostfound. Hmm. Something to think about later. Create our port report. What are the squatters up to? Not all are Iremi or Withern. There's the odd researcher, the occasional deranged ice sculptor, now and then a very cold, very sad rubbery man. But for the most part, an atmosphere of friendly rivalry reigns. How's some tea sound? Oh, delightful. Some of them wear the robes of Iremi riddlefishers. Some look like Withern folk, but even more ragged. They do seem a little more practical than either of those people. A surprisingly warm welcome. We're keeping the steps for the game of truths, a helpful riddle fisher explains, as she fills your cup for the third time. Every year, the people of Irem and Wither meet here for, she pauses, contests, she finished vaguely, the difference between a question and a riddle. One day, someone will prove themselves enough to enter the castle. You spend a pleasant few hours while the tea is supplemented with Iremi liqueurs, pale Withern beer, and something the riddle fisher describes blandly as snake cake. They offer you fuel and supplies before you leave. We keep enough to spare, the riddle fisher grins. From time to time, a captain gets lost and comes up here, and we always feel bad for them. Well, that is very nice of you. Ah, the question is... Can we just really quickly... Actually, will the light reach there? Oh, well, that was silly of me. Will the light reach there? Crash. Very good. Sycamore Arch. This should be... Umbral? The other tower. Teneb. Ah, yes. It's Tenebris, not Umbral. Tenebris being one of those words that old Lovecraft liked to use. Back when he was not a corpse. And I'm just going to keep crashing into this iceberg here. It's just what's going to happen. Well, I try to... Come on. Discover Bright already. It's right there. Where's everyone? Where did they go? They're here. They're here. You're not alone. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I'll just... Yeah. Okay. Try again. Yeah. Finally discovered it. Damaged the hole considerably, but we discovered it. So now you can stop discovering this stupid thing. Irem. Oh. Well, I mean, I am curious about them. Still some distance to the east? I think not. That seems to be them right there. Strange puffs of warmth from the air behind the ice. This is the pillared sea where Irem will lie. Lies, has always lain. Oh. Well, aren't you a thing? Okay. Okay, yeah, just crash into the side a bit more. Um, well, we'll stop at Carlisle's Haven for now. Iram, none have ever spoken truthfully of this place. Hmm. Well, we'll take a pause there. And next time, we'll visit the place, explore it, See what's here. Thank you very much for your time, and I shall see you all soon.